I'm gonna give my our dog Gummy some water since he was thirsty. <laughs> It's a little bit there. To the side. To the left. To the side. To the left. To the side. To the left. Did you get sick this morning? Yep. So I just got sick. And now I'm sick. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. You dork. <laughs> What's up guys and happy Thursday. I don't have a throwback video for you. I've just been working to get these this weekend video out in segments and I haven't had time to work on my throwback so I'm thinking I might just close out February or maybe I already did that but I might just close out March and I'm like yeah that's how far behind I am but that's okay because we're doing it. We're doing our thing. We're doing our thing. And when, when you're on YouTube anyway, it's like however you want to tell your story. I don't really mind that my story is going to be delayed because I it doesn't matter to me. I still want to post it because I know the kids really like to watch the videos and my friends from a distance enjoy seeing the kids and the family and all that. So <clears throat> it's worth it to me even if it is a month behind. This is the last video of the weekend so I hope you guys enjoy it it was uh, pretty uneventful I will say but I know that the teenager would not mind seeing it again it was as always fun to relive those moments and that's why I really enjoy the editing part of these videos because I really like to relive those moments and laugh or, well, laugh. I mean, I, I usually put out funny, fun stuff. But it's just kind of cool to be able to go back in time and watch what happened on that day. So I don't get people who pay other people to edit. That's like the fun part for me. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that I make videos just so I can edit them, honestly. It's just my jam. But anyway, I've gotta take this dog out. He's ringing this bell. Bunny, we were waiting for Bunny all the day. Yeah. We, we wanted her from Puppy, Wally. Since the other way he didn't want to get Look at him. the dog. You gotta go outside. Mother, we're gonna Chloe dog. Okay, eat your waffles, okay? She's a girl. You gotta go outside? Take him out. Outside? He's like, heck yeah, human. One more thing before we go. I would just like to know, how do you like these waffles? Good. Are they delicious? Yep. Oh my gosh, I see you over there in the corner, okay? I see you. Yep. Are you glad that mommy got a waffle maker? Yeah. And it's and the, you didn't open it yet. I did. That's how I made those. I'm, okay, I see you. Oh my gosh, I see you. Oh Gertie. my gosh. At least he's ringing in on camera, right? Finally. Okay. I think it like a sound. Hold your hand up and put it over the camera. Close it out. Boop. Light up wearable text. Blah 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 blah. To blah 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 blah. And pull the tab. Look at that. It's supposed to. So what did you think of the concert? It's supposed to light up. It was awesome. They hurt my heart because they wore tuxedos and they had the audacity to take my heart. Like even Alex can get mad at it. They had the audacity to wear tuxedos. I know. And they didn't even like look musty. Yeah. <laughs> I can taste you them. Can't, you can't look musty. Like, you smell musty. I can well. 
Let me tell you how my day Look, went. Okay, here's a footwork that they were doing. They did this. They sat, actually they didn't even sit, they stood in a ridiculously long line in the cold. It did actually start to snow. Oh, this light's bad. This light's It was better. flurrying. It's but that bad, bad. I was going back and forth to the truck and to the Smoothie King and to the sushi place, hooking them up with food, drink, a single coat, and yep. a pair of gloves. But I also got to watch a movie by myself. Never watched a movie by myself. Never ate sushi by myself. I watched Pacific Rim on fire. Is that what that was? I really thought that was a Transformers movie. It was more of a spin-off. What happened to that Maybe I just don't understand. It's like the Walking Dead but fear the Walking Dead. Oh, thank you. And now we're back in our place. Um, I'm just going to settle down for the night. Tomorrow I have to take them back home and I have to start my drive back to North Carolina. Drop this rental off and be on my way to my other babies. Oh, I had a banh mi sandwich. She grilled shrimp. It was amazing. I'm actually kind of full. I feel like I've been like eating here and there. I'm ready to take my contacts out, ready to wash my face, get out of this outfit. It was really cold walking back and forth. <laughs> What's happening here? I dropped this. Can I, is it looking? I dropped this in the ground and I thought that the girls put something on there. But it actually is just stuck to the adhesive. That's funny. Silver Spring is actually a really cool area. I've never actually hung out here before. I think I may have driven through, but the downtown area is so cool. It's all lit up and there's like the mall and all that. And um, the movie theater is huge. There's like 20 theaters. <clears throat> to me, that's huge anyway. You can comment below if you've seen one with more than 20. So many girls in that line to go see that band. Why don't? But I do remember my first concert too. I was in the sixth grade and I saw Boys to Men with, I don't know who was with them. I wanted to say TLC, but that was probably wrong. And I thought it was super cool and I got a t-shirt and it was awesome. They didn't get any merchandise though because they actually had a really long line for merchandise so that was more than they could handle I am just glad today is over we hit the we hit up the cherry blossom festival that was awesome even though we kind of cheated it we didn't really walk through the whole area but there were so many people there were like tour buses and people that were doing the touristy thing like us and probably people that are just trying to live you know, walking down the street, just just trying to live, get to work, get home from work. So we kind of cheated, um, but we got pictures, and that's what we really wanted. We wanted to see them with our eyeballs, eyeballs, and we saw we saw we seen them, we saw them. So that's cool. Anyway, I'm going to clean my face up make my bed because apparently there's a pad that goes on the bed so it won't be so uncomfortable tonight and uh, that's that's all I got for now tomorrow we're gonna pack up I hate packing up that's the one part I do hate about vacation or little fun road trips is the packing up part and I always leave something always Bye for now, guys. Boo boo. Ow.
trying my best to eat this burrito. We went and did some grocery shopping late Friday night before we came in and got a little bit too much food. A little bit too much. You know what I mean. So I'm trying to wolf this down after I've already had some other food and drink. But it's hard. The struggle is real, guys. But we're getting ready to leave our Airbnb now. And we're packing up. Getting it all packed up. All packed up. <clears throat> I don't really know if I showed you the entrance, but if you look here, it's actually in the basement. See? It's a cute little patio area right there. <sighs> and these, these plants perked up after we put a, another thing of water in there. So pretty. All right, guys, we gotta get out of here. So I gotta get to eating this right here, this burrito. And try, oh, here they are. Bye, house. Bye. Where? Oh, I guess you're right. Here we go. I totally almost dropped my camera. I got butterfingers for a second. But welcome back to my channel. My vlog, the vlog, this one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed what you saw, the finale of my DC trip. But I just wanted to do, do a little something before I sign off. Give you guys a little bit of something. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know that I'm really into fitness. So I wanted to show you something that I bought to make my life at the gym a little more tolerable and uh, I don't know I guess this would be considered a little personal because it does involve my intimates but I wanted to show you what I wear underneath my gym shorts now because that's been a struggle nobody likes that VPL line so I bought these un these underwears from Under Armour and I I do like Under Armour. Don't always like the price, but these were worth it. They were twelve dollars a piece, <laughs> and I'm very happy that I bought them. So let me just show you. I'm gonna do a little unboxing because I've got three pairs. I've already worn one, and I can unbox the rest because they're still in the wrapping. But you will be very surprised. Let me see if I can set this up properly. I'm gonna have to do it like this, guys. You like my new tufted comforter? It's very pretty. Okay, so, well, that, yeah, this is a good one. So I got this one, and for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the nude. Or, is this nude? Anyway, it's nude to me. It doesn't say the color. Anyway, so, you wouldn't think that this would be very much fabric to an underwear. And, yes, they are thongs. But you wouldn't think that they would be enough. But you unbox them like so, and you're like, what the heck? Because it feels like, it literally feels like pantyhose. But, <clears throat> here we go. So it literally like feels like pantyhose. And the material, if you're curious... So you'll see <clears throat> that that's why it is so light. Unlike any underwear, and when you wear them, there are no lines. My hands are gross right now, but there are no lines when you wear them. As you can see, it's kind of like the ones that Victoria's Secrets had. There's no seam, so no line. When I'm wearing regular underwear, I like 
bunch up and sometimes the leggings I have on will pull them down. It's really annoying. These don't move at all. I do have another pair, but it's kind of frilly. I've worn those in a pinch. I had to go get those for a competition and yeah, those aren't as comfortable because they've got like the seam and then there's like this frilly detail along the edge and it's just not comfortable. And I think three is enough. These would be good if you're a minimalist packer. You could wash these by hand and hang dry them and they would be dry in no time. And, you, and they're so light and they're so small, like they would literally fit in an Easter egg, probably, pretty sure. I might give it a try, it might not, I don't know. They're perfect, they're perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog today. Tune in for tomorrow. I don't know what's going on, but I'm at the end of my weekend of editing, my weekend edits, so we'll see what we get into. Um, I know the hubby said he was going to do finish the fire pit for me. Uh, I did have to work. I mean, most of it, but whatever. You know, he's willing to help, and he's home, so I'm going to put him to work out in the backyard, and maybe I'll do some video clips of that. We're taking a rest day. I've got an appointment for a really cool thing. This should be a hint. Is that a good enough hint? Yeah. Well, that's all the hint I'm going to give you. Okay, guys, seriously, I got to go. Until next time. Bye. And if he rings out the one more time. know me just capitalizing on the fact that my husband is home and I'm adding him to the vlog when I can.